Can you see it? Yeah. Looks good. Looks good! Fuck! Oh shit. Shit. Oh shit, man. Shit. Oh shit, man! Hey guys, welcome back to We Watched the Movie. Welcome back, my friends. I'm Mike. He's Jay, and this is the Dark Tapes review. The Tapes of the Dark. Fuck, we're going deep down in the fucking cerebellum of what? Did you like some so sad? Crazy. This is very real. I prefer to call them transdimensional entities. And I would like that, 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 that. Danny, would you like some sausage? <laughs> <laughs> so, The Dark Tapes, it's a found footage anthology film, just like VHS, but unlike VHS, this one tries to swing for the cerebral rafters. Mm -hmm. They try to get really deep and, and dark and twisted with the shit, and, and they try to be a lot smarter than VHS was. The first difference between this and VHS is that it, it actually ties together a little bit. Yeah. There's an overlaying theme going on here. And I won't give anything away at all. This is a non-spoiler review. It's on VOD right now. You can buy it, watch it. It's on VOD. Probably should. Vod. Vod. Zod. Zod. <laughs> oh, God. Zod. <laughs> so, um, but this, this one, it tries to tie everything together. And it all has something to do with night terrors, which is scary as yeah. fuck. They You've got this professor and his hot young assistant and a guy who's just there to film it. And <laughs> That's a porn. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He's there to do some tests. He believes that there's something more to these night tears, and that's where kind of all these segments tie into, and there's like four of them. But first off, it's another fucking found footage movie, and I'm not going to lie to you, this movie has great parts in it, but I'm sick of found footage. Yeah. Uh, sick of it! You're so sick, put your dick in a blender. Oh no, I don't want to that Cause then you'd have no dick. Like that movie <clears throat> friend request. Oh my god, why'd you bring it up? But it was his hand. I know, but we're gonna <laughs> keep talking and sing the song. Uh, yeah, the very beginning of this movie, uh, it is a shining example of the found footage film. The found footage phenomenon that swept everybody's fucking genital area when mm -hmm. Paranormal Activity came out. And to be honest, the first... This one's got crabs. The the first one is a paranormal activity kind of story. Yeah. And while you're watching it, you're like, been there, done that. I'm not going to ever see you again, Lucy. You've definitely got chlamydia. I'm done. But if you keep on that train <laughs> and you look past the fact that she has chlamydia and you put a rubber just on. Just push to the left. You put a rubber on. I'm only going to go to the left. Just hit that G wall to the left side. Um, then you'll, I don't know. You uh, but then <laughs> you had to say something. Gross you set it. me up and then I failed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you get some good stuff when it ends. You're like, wow, that actually is a pretty good twist on it because yeah. I never thought of that. Because it, I'm not saying it pokes fun at those ghost hunter shows, but it kind of does. Because I'm not. Uh, it says something like. You guys never do your research. You guys always blindly rush in and never really think about what's going on or research the history of the house or research the people. You just kind of like, yeah, we're just going to go in and fucking throw up an EMF meter. Like, oh my God, it spiked the four. Egon, why? But yeah. you're right. That's the thing. And it was yeah. ballsy as shit of them to put that as the first segment. Because I literally, you guys, I almost turned this off. Like, I, I watched the first 20 minutes or so of this. And that first segment, like you said, it's like Paranormal Activity 19. It's yeah. literally the same story. And I almost turned the video off. I, I, I it still scared I, me a little bit. Yeah. Well, I stuck, <laughs> I stuck with my guns and I, I kept to watch it. And I'm glad that I did because... When you watch this, it's going to seem like two really bad actors reenacting a terrible ripoff of Paranormal Activity. But like you said, there's more to it. Yeah. Keep watching. And actually, it what it is like a blue, beautiful moonlit flower. Yeah, what it ended up being actually was like uh, original. And I did not expect to say originality when I'm watching that. I almost wanted to break my fucking TV, throw it in the garbage can, and never watch this shit again. But then what would you have done with your warranty? Sometimes you got to stick with it. <laughs> So that's the first segment, and you'll like the ending of that. It's a pretty cool, like, ooh, gooey, yeah, yeah. gooey gumdrops twist. And then it goes from that tape to the... It, then it goes back to the professor and Marianne <laughs> and Gilligan. Uh, <laughs> it's not giving... They're trying to prove the existence of what they call interdimensional beings when you have night terrors. Some will call them demons. Others call them angels. We call them what the fuck. But, uh, <laughs> I call them bad nights in Texas. That's what they're trying to prove. They're trying yeah. to prove that there are interdimensional beings that come to you in the middle of the night when you have night terrors and you see their world and they interact with you. And that's the whole thing. Then we get into the next tape. And I think it's the cam girls. Now, yeah. hot on hot lesbian action is going on and you think that's what's going to happen. And no, it does not happen. I mean, there are some 
evocative moments for sure. You but think then, something's gonna go down to Chinatown? Then, but then, uh, mm, you can take all your memories. They're no good to me. <laughs> That's what you've got to know. Is your one lucky winner gets a private show. Mm. So the one lucky winner gets the private show. I'm down. <laughs> At one point, the one dude was like, they were talking, and the, you see this dude in the corner of the screen, and he's going. I don't get that. That oh. horror came out of nowhere. I was like, it's, good it's God. It's fucking man. weird. But it's not like, butter. You, I pick you, you fucking weirdo. So they get him on there, they get him to do shit, and then it takes a weird turn to fuck town. And I liked, I actually, found footage does this a lot, and I don't like a lot of what found footage movies do, but there's something about that effect when they use the whole Skype idea or the yeah. webcam idea. It can bring about some pretty freaky shit. And this scene, it, it wasn't scary, but it was really cool. Like, I, was I, was, cool. I was interested in what they were doing. We all know that girls can be fucking mind ninjas. They can crawl inside of there, and you fucking can. You know you can, and you can make us do shit. You guys are a freaking mind terrorist. And this takes that to the fucking 10th power. Guerrilla warfare at a 10. And it's freaky. So I like that scene. So There's several small moments of the film that are generally fucking terrifying. There's little moments where you're just like, Jesus Christ, you're like leaned away from your screen. Like, I know, I, what the fuck is that, Charles? I had to watch this on, on my computer and I called away on the other side of my bedroom so that I could watch it. And I was like, I was looking up yeah. like a commando. I was like, Danger. Is it over? Yeah, it's it's bad. There's there's little moments of, of horror greatness. Sometimes what the film does though is it lingers on those moments too long and it's a low budget film. So when they do that, and you actually see the low budget effects of it, like you can see the masks and stuff like that. Yeah. It totally takes you out of it, and there's some some bad special effects going on. But again, it's a low budget film, and the moments that do work are so much better. Stop touching the nipple of there's the a nipple umbrella, on the, umbrella, the light umbrella. Mm. But when those moments work, they're better than anything you'll see in the theater. Well, yeah, exactly. And and what's amazing to me and commendable to the director and the actors and actresses and the production. Of, of this movie is that uh, it was done on a sixty-five thousand dollar budget, and <clears throat> that's great. That's that they did tell a good story without having millions and millions of dollars at their disposal. Now, saying that, there are instances like you were you were mentioning. They spent too much time trying to overcomplicate things. I think, and sometimes it drags out in places it doesn't need to be dragged out. Maybe a little bit more editing should have been done on certain aspects of the film. I want to go really back. I want to really go back. For a I second. Love my baby, for a second. Back, for a second. Back. Ribs. Uh, <laughs> for a, <laughs> we just wrote a rap song. Uh, for a second, I want to go back to the cam roll. Um, what was terrifying about that, not the fact that my they daughter? were getting. Yeah, I didn't really get one. Because it, it was a promise that wasn't delivered. It was the secret. It was thief. a promise that wasn't delivered. She touched my pepper thief. Thanks for not uh, the <clears throat> But, well, they have interspliced in that specific video of. Uh, them the cam girls being weird like yeah. they like they're like blah, blah, blah. Oh. yeah they like and they have like all dark makeup and yeah. they look like Night of Living Dead uh, the original one and they like, dark eyeshadow and not sexy like eating raw steak yeah and shit. just like what the fuck smacking each other like, in the I face. am not taking you to Red Robin ever <laughs> uh, but it, you it, don't get no bottomless fries you fucking weirdo it does look it's scary when I mean, you move on to Act Three yeah Take Three we you got, go into like. You go into like Charles Xavier telekinetic territory, yeah. and you're like, hmm. Now I know I can beat these motherfuckers. But these guys, they try to roofie this girl, and they take, and they, these these dudes stop the 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 roofie from happening, the the sexual thing from happening. They catch dudes with their pants down. Nothing actually happens, but the girl has already been passed out. So they wait, and they pull this bullshit found footage story, like, we want to catch her on camera. What she says happens, so we can show it to the police. It's one of those typical, we need to find a reason to put a fucking yeah. camera here. Um, but you gotta do it in found footage. Well, so, but when she wakes up, she wasn't sexually assaulted, but shit happens to her in her sleep, and then, like you said, the telekinetic stuff comes out, the weird Jason 9 story. That's line. what I was saying about, it was, it was Jason 7. Halloween 5. Jason 6. Jason lives. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> which whatever that one was. But I, I felt like that was the the, the John Travolta and Michael. <laughs> no, it's K-Pax. You got no, it's not K-Pax or Michael. I was gonna say well, it's phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. I was gonna yeah. say if you're gonna say Michael, you gotta learn to laugh. That's I, the key to true love. I was like, oh my god, I can plant these shrubs. It's like no problem. I can do it with my brain. Did you watch the hair? I work really hard on my hair. Uh, but no, um, Nicholas Cage. Who, what, where? <laughs> Sorry, I, I could eat each for hours. Uh, no, look, um. The last tape is very reminiscent to me uh, of the fourth kind. Yeah. 
again, it goes back to the overlying theme of the whole movie. Like, what's ghosts to you and what's aliens to you, what's cam girls that are sadistic, they're all one thing. And we go back to this experiment that's happening. And then they have try- time travel into that bitch. Yeah, and it's like, like what? Well, I, I thought I was eating a steak. I'm a lobster. I want to tell you about the real, the, the creature, though. The, the, the main, when it shows itself. It's scary, but I felt like I was looking at what Billy Idol would be after, like, a few more years. <laughs> but then again, I was also thinking, like, is that the new member of Slipknot that's being introduced? <laughs> like, is he going to play the drums? Like, I don't know. There are times when they use a camera effect on on, on the yeah. demon, and it's scary as when, fuck. When they elongate his arms, and they elongate the limbs, and he's, like, hanging on a fucking wall. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But there are other times where you can obviously tell... That it's a dude in a mask, and he's a blah, 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 blah. Yeah, party but, city promotion. But then again, at the same time, I get it. It's sixty five thousand yeah. dollars. That's what you had to work with, and you did the best you could with what you had. And I appreciate that. I love these little indie horror movies that are coming out like this, and they they really explore as much as they can because they're going into territory that the movie, the big giant production studios wouldn't let them go. I got it. I got what you were going for, and I liked it. I thought that was a really cool idea and a really cool twist, but. You know, you just didn't have the budget to back you up. So yeah, I think ultimately I give this movie a six point five. I think that yeah, the acting is hit and miss hardcore throughout the movie, but it's 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 amateur, it's it's low budget, all yeah. that stuff. But for all the problems that the movie has, if you really want to sit and pick it apart, you can. But I'm going to say this about this movie is that if you're a horror fan, you like to be scared, and you can stomach one more found footage movie, just one more. I would go to this one rather than a lot of the other ones because this one has little moments of greatness. There is a tiny few moments in this movie that are genuinely scary as shit. And that is something that most movies don't do. I'm going to give it a 6.5 myself and I'm glad that the guy made it. I'm glad that he took a chance and he put it out there for everybody to see. Uh, and again, I'm going to go back to the fact that I'm glad that these kind of movies exist in the independent realm because we get a little bit of taste. It's a taste it's a of taste. what we could have taste. if these big budget fuckers would get their taste. nose out of the corporate executives' asses and taste. make a good horror movie. Uh, the Dark Tapes, when they said it like that, they might want to rename that because <laughs> when you say... Hey man, I got the dark tapes too. I was like, I don't want to watch my mom fucking my dad. Are you serious? <laughs> I got them dark tapes. I ate some Taco Bell last night. It's, it's some porn. It. I got the dark tapes. It's yeah, like dirty porn. Comment down below. Let us know what do you guys think about the movie. If you watched, are you interested in checking it out? Are you completely checked out of found footage right now, or are you willing to give it a couple more goes? Comment down below. Let us know. We love your fucking faces. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Get some goddamn wham up in you. I love you. We watched the movie. We watched a movie.